Hello everyone and welcome to the first annual Saint Denis Hair and Beard Show starring Arthur Morgan. Today we're in Saint Denis and we're going to get a haircut and we're going to look at the different styles that you can get with Arthur and they're all beautiful. You can choose whatever kind of style you want and there's plenty. So first we're going to see what our hair would look like trimmed. And I think that I like Arthur better when he has long hair because it is just that is very true and he will not stop talking to me but that's okay so we're gonna keep his hair long because I like it long I think it makes the story a lot better because he shouldn't be spending money on here he should be spending money on the people that he loves which is the people at the camp and now we're gonna look at different styles now this is the pomade when you wanna slick your hair back you get you some pomade and you put it in your hair and it's going to slick it back and it's going to be beautiful. Now this is the left parted and the left parted fade is a little bit different but it's not different. You know it's, it's left parted, left parted fade, left parted, left parted fade and it kind of looks the same but there's not as many stragglies in there. And then we got middle parted and you can tell that it's just parted right down the middle and it's beautiful. And then you got the middle parted fade and just this is going to fade right into your memory because you're going to you're going to see him and it's going to be beautiful. I wish this barber would shut up. He has not stopped talking since I started. It's really annoying. And this is the right part. Of it. This is the way I like his hair. It's just right parted to the right. He's right to want that. And then the right parted fade. This is a little bit of the same thing, but this way is more Straggly in this way is more clean cut and I like the straggly part and then sweat back this is I like to call this the mullet the Arthur mullet but he doesn't like that word he like I wish you would shut your trap when I'm talking about his mullet because I could talk about it for 15 minutes and you're interrupting but it's just darling and beautiful I think it's a great haircut and then this is the sweat back fade it's like a better mullet like a pomaded mullet I like it a lot it's very pretty and then it's you got your buzz you got ten hot salute to you Arthur Morgan because it's just buzzed off like a marine but we're not gonna do that one because oh and then uh, have you ever seen a more beautiful bald man in all your life aside from stone cold no you have not because he's great and he can pull off going completely shaved but I don't like him like that so that's all your hairstyles that you got there and then we move on to the facial hair and then you know you can choose to just trim all your hair up if you want to and you know he's a very handsome man look at all that it's it's great but then again you want to show that hey I can grow a beard and I took a long time to grow it so you know yeah, I hate this man so much. He is so rude interrupting me like that. And so now we're going to go to full styles. And we check. Now, the extra clean shaving. Now, they take a straight razor and they basically burn off the first part of your skin to make it look like that. Because you got clean shaving. That's not clean though, is it? You can see a little bit of rough on his beard. And then the extra clean shaving. So that's where you can see where they heat up the straight razor and burn off your flesh. And then we got the flying fork. Uh, the flying fork, I also call it the Colonel Sanders because that's what he looks like, is Colonel, uh, Colonel Sanders. And he, I'm already sitting, what's the barber saying? And so you got Colonel Sanders here and then you got the English. Uh, the English, I don't know why they call it that, I guess because all the English people you'll meet ever is going to have this, I guess. I'm not sure. And then you got the Maltese, which is what I'm sporting, which is basically a mullet for your chops. You know, they're pomaded to the side and they stick out real far. Let me talk about the whiskers, please. And then you got Burnside, which I think they named after a city or something but you got the burn side and you can see your sideburns are to the side on this one and it's very pretty and then you got the soup saver and they call this the soup saver because if you notice he gets rid of his mustache because if you have ever had a mustache or if you have wore a fake mustache you know that eating soup is a little difficult I agree and uh, 
soup saver is a well-groomed mustache, which it's not a mustache at all. No, it's a, and then we got the goatee. Now, this one right here I like to call the Backstreet Boy because the Backstreet Boy, uh, one of them, I think, had one of these uh, goatees. And, you know, they were very popular. So if you want to be as popular as the Backstreet Boy, then you want to get that one. And this is the Josiah. I'm not sure why they call it the Josiah. I'm guessing my beard should be a little bit longer. I need you to be quiet, sir, because you are very annoying, and I'm trying to talk about all these great styles that you yourself are going to be cutting. And this is called the leg o mutton and if you know what a mutton chop is, it's a type of food, but it's also a type of hairstyle, and this is not the food, it's the type of hairstyle. And the leg o mutton are mutton chops that are protruding out to the side, and it's great. I love it. It's beautiful. And then we have the pennant. Uh, the pennant, of course, is a uh, thing that you win in baseball. And you tell me that this man could not play baseball with this type of haircut. You know he could. He could play third base, second base, first base, or the outfield. It doesn't matter. And this is called the apron. And all it is is uh, the part of the beard where is on the chin. And... So, uh, you know, if your beard is a little longer, it does act as an apron. I'm sorry that his beard isn't longer. I wish it was. But if it was a little bit longer, it would be called the apron because if you spilled pizza on it, it would just go right into the apron beard. And then you could say, well, I need to clean my beard and not my shirt, and which is important because shirts are expensive. Now, the French fork, uh, this is the same kind that he's already got is uh, you know big old mustache and you got your mutton chops to the side and it's great and the forked spartan now spartan was known spartans i'm sorry they were known for their beards and and this one is great and um, they call it the forked spartan because first they comb it out with a fork and then they style it like the spartans did and this one is uh, a a bill Dundreary, Dundreary, I'm not really sure, but I think it's darling. It's beautiful. It's great. I just, I, well, I'm getting flustered here because looking at it, it's just a conundrum. Now, you tell me you couldn't eat corn on the cob with that kind of haircut. You know you could. And that's what it was made for, I'm pretty sure. Dundreary is an Indian word for eating corn on the cob. And this is the Spartan, once again. There are two types of Spartan haircuts. They were known for their barbershop skills, the Spartans were. They weren't known for much else. And this is the Spartan trim. And whenever you put this on, you really feel like getting in this phalanx and attacking someone. And I don't really say I blame you. I need you to be quiet, sir, once again. And this is called the presidential. Uh, hello, Mr. President. <laughs> I don't know why they call it the presidential if you're not running for office because I would think that you would be called voter if you had it, but I don't know why they did, but it's great. And this is the brigad, uh, the brigad, uh, brigadier. This is the brigadier, and the brigadier is a mustache that goes into your mutton chops and connects. Hello, Miss. Do you like the brigadier? And, you know, it's great. And this is called the Verdi, and the Verdi, I'm pretty sure is Spanish or something and whenever you have it all your mutton chops are trimmed down but you can see a little bit there and you have a mustache and a little bit of a beard and it's very pretty and you look like you're on your way to the big city and this one is called the I'm tired of these complicated names here the picketer and uh Thank you. And the picketer is just a mustache that is very pretty. It's very thick and it's combed out to the sides, almost like Chef Boyardee. And it's great. And this is called the Forked Dutchman. And the Forked Dutchman, they also use forks to comb out their facial hair. And this one is no exception. All of the Dutchmans are combed out with forks, so I'm not sure why this one is has fork in the name. But anyway, it's beautiful. And... I need you, once again, to silence yourself, sir. You're being rude. And that's all the, the hairstyles. 
and then you can go individual if you want. You got your double fork chin and your natural, and then you got your mustache styles, which is natural, and then pencil mustache, which I don't understand why you just wouldn't shave and draw it on with a pencil, but who cares? Handlebar mustache. We all know what a handlebar mustache is. It's based off the handlebars of. It's based on the handlebars on a bike, and you only want to wear this when you have a bike. And Arthur doesn't have a bike, so we're in the clear. And then you got your sideburns, and you got Dundreary sideburns and natural sideburns. See how those go straight down, and then these are combed out like you know you saw a scary ghost or something. So oh yeah, here I am. I'm in a haunted house, and I'm not seeing a ghost. Oh my goodness, look at that ghost. It's scary. Oh no, it went away. I'm not scared anymore. Oh my gosh, it's a demon. Help me. And, and I just think that's scary. And those are the styles of facial hair. And I would like to see our guest Arthur Morgan for being here at the first annual San Denis sir can I finish San Denis beard and hair show and I would like to also thank our sponsors not juicy juice you know how juice is you know how juicy juice is really juicy and it's also juice well we just cut it out we put nothing but powder in here not juicy juice zero percent juice hundred percent powder it's great please check them out i'd like to thank our sponsors and arthur morgan thank you very much 